Today I'm beginning a new project. I'm going to continue working on and finishing up my other projects, but sometimes just the way things are, it's necessary to take advantage of the circumstances. In my case, I'm going to be uh, designing, building a UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. This is part of a university grant, in-house grant that I received to sort of see the feasibility of trying to include this in some of our course, um, courses and curriculum. So I've purchased the control aspects of the project, and that's what I have here, and I've got all of these from 3D Robotics. It seemed like these components would integrate very well together. The documentation is there. Uh, so let's take a look at what I've got. So I purchased the chassis that's going to hold a lot of these components inside the canopy of the plane. So we've got some pieces here that will be associated with building that particular uh, part of the, the, the plane. Over here I have the wireless uh, tr video transmitter. I have the video kit from 3DR so that I can transmit onboard video back to my remote station. So it includes a receiver with a um, video output cable. I've got my transmitter, the two antennas, one going to go on the transmitter, one is going to be going on the receiver. Some necessary cables for connecting uh, on-screen display and that kinds of stuff to my video in a power connector. Obviously with this I'm going to need video, so I have the camera, the little video camera. There is the cable. This I believe is not going to end up being used for this particular application because the power is going to be coming from other sources. The video will be going to my, my transmitter. So this will probably be an unnecessary cable. Also in this little bag, uh, I realized that there's a couple very, very small screws. There's like four of them, so not to lose those, I kept those in the bag. I also have the on-screen display for the telemetry coming back to my remote monitor. So that's what this component is. I got a couple uh, cables, a Y cable there, and my on-screen display component. There's two batteries. Uh, the batteries that they provide you are for powering the transmitter and the receiver. So these will connect and power these. Uh, coming back over here, I also have the telemetry radio kit. So I've got two transceivers, the two antennas, there's two different USB cables, and some connecting cables. I then have for my autopilot, I have the APM 2.6. So there's a couple little jumpers in here. Here's the actual APM, uh, USB cable, some connecting cables, and the quick start uh, instructions that go with that. So connected to that, I'm also going to have the GPS and compass. So I purchased the one that's a combination rather than have two separate or try to use an internal compass. So there's a couple cables there and the combination uh, GPS and compass. I also opted for an airspeed indicator. I thought that would be helpful for me. One of the things I'm going to be looking at doing is trying to do this in as slow as flight as possible. I'm going to be looking at airspeed, looking at where my stall speeds are going to occur, and possibly incorporate that into some of my programming as well. And finally, I have the power connector. Uh, this power module allows me to power my APM from my battery. It's also powering the rest of the, the plane. So there's a corresponding cable that's going to plug into the power module that then will go over to my APM. So I've got a real good start here. Uh, I'm going to be gradually working and building on this. I have not received the plane at this point and the necessary components. It is on order. Uh, I purchased it through Hobby King, notoriously uh, well known for not having things and then back ordering and taking a long time to get them. And that's actually my case. I was looking at purchasing the Bixler um, 2, I think it was. The kit, that kit was out of stock. It had been out of stock for some time, wasn't sure, so I decided to piece it with things that they said on their website were in stock by the time I got things ordered. Uh, not major things, there was the, the glue, the accelerator, a prop, and a motor mount. Those were all backwards, so hopefully the other items will come in. So I'm going to start working on this. I'll have a series of videos as I go through and, and go through this process. This is brand new to me. 
I've not done this before. I'm also not a remote control airplane kind of person, so I'm sure I've got a lot in store for me. Uh, I did choose to go that route rather than the quadcopter type um, platform because of cost. I thought that I could do it in a much less expensive way by using a phone type plane. So again, uh, you know, come back, take a look at the videos as I get them up on as I proceed in building and putting the different things together. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy and subscribe to the channel.